Hey guys, this is Zetu, MMOgrafia. Yesterday was a big night. Max Roll in collaboration with Zizaran showcased the final mastery that we will receive in last epoch for release at February 21st. This mastery is none other than Falconer, a subclass for Roach. Falconry is the primary skin upon choosing this subclass. Allows us to summon a companion, the Falcon. Who attacks nearby enemies with the great speed. Falcon possesses its own set of abilities, one of which is Falcon Strikes. This attack strikes enemies within designated area. This skill seems perfect for quickly applying ailments in a short amount of time. It doesn't have its own skill tree, but can be activated by pressing A key, which sends the Falcon to specific location. The first skill in Falcon Earth 3 is Explosive Trap. As the name suggests, this skill involves throwing traps on the ground that explode upon contact with the enemies. Of course, this skill has various synergies with other skills. The default number of traps is 6, but we can increase their quantity through the skill tree. The second skill is Net. A typical utility skill that immobilize or slow down enemies while pushing you backwards from them. And to be honest, there is not much to say about it. Next, we have Aerial Assault, which launching us forward with the help of the Falcon and unleashing the subskill Wing Burst. While this is potentially a typical movement skill, the subskill Wing Burst can be further modified through the skill tree to release Umbral Braids, one of the Roach's powerful skills. We can customize Umbral Blades according to our preference. This skill seems to have the potential to be the best for fast Echoes farming as we remain in the constant move while killing everything in our path. The final skill offered by Falcon is Dive Bomb, where it fly high in the air and then rapidly dives onto the specific area dealing massive damage in a single strike. It's a typical nuke skill that hits hard. Just imagine this skill hitting 1 million damage and one-shotting all the bosses. I can't wait for it. Speaking of the Falcon itself, it has fantastic synergy with the Acid Flask skill. Acid Flask is a thrown skill that leaves a damage overtime effect on the ground. Thanks to the new synergy, our Falcon can drop Acid Flasks on the enemies, turning him in a true autobomber. Come on, we love autobombers. Now let's take a look at the build I tried to put together for my starter. As I love fast paced gameplay, I want to try the bow trapper showed on the reveal. After all, we also need to go through the passives. Okay, so let's uh, take a look on it. I start with going to put uh, 20 points in the road. We are going to stack dexterity, so 8 points in dex. Then we put 1 point only to get through and get to the evasion. Evasion is must have on road. Next we are going to put 1 point over here to get through to this lovely damage buff. And that's it for road 3, we don't need anything more over here. Let's take a look at the falconer tree. We are going to take haste. Haste will be awesome. Haste is always awesome. Then of course we're gonna stack more dexterity. And we are going to take ranger's mark to increase our damage with both. Then blast radius. Look at this three point bonus. It will give us mana when our traps will detonate. We go in heavily. Uh, rely on mana, so I believe it will be necessary to have it. Then we are go to Blade Dancer and we're gonna get more dexterity. And now it's time for a Marksman tree. Here uh, we are going like with the basic Marksman tree I'm always using. So basically we're gonna get crit on bottom, elemental arrows, it's really good especially at the beginning of the game. More elemental damage is always nice. Then one point in the arrow storm only to get to the covering fire. 
I really need that skill. It always saves my ass. Uh, basically, if you, it's giving you 100% chance to dodge and you have two stacks on it. So basically, you're not gonna get one shot if you will take a hit from enemy. Then we are going to get more crit and more crit. Basically, there is below also the sharpshooter. It's additional buff for us. And that's it. So now let's take a look on the skills. So our lovely explosive trap. We want to get uh, as soon as possible to the right, to the blast train. So uh, more traps and more traps. And now we can enable uh, our bow skill. So basically the explosive trap will be now a bow skill, which shot the traps in the air and they are going to explode. And now our traps are gonna scale with the bow damage. And we're gonna take impact trigger to get traps explode immediately on hit. Then we are going to the left side to get all three elemental passives. And one in the middle is going to enable uh, all elemental uh, damage on those traps. Rest of the points is basically theory. I took the three points in mana efficiency. I have feeling that uh, we're gonna rely uh, heavily on mana. So basically you can take two or three points over here. It depends how it's gonna start. I think three should be enough. And also we want to have traps, throwing traps. It seems really amazing. But when it will be necessary, I will quit from that one to get more mana. And basically that's it. Rest of the skills is, is just basic. Hail of arrows, like I'm always using on my marksman. I'm going to convert that to the fire damage. And then I'm going to get more crit uh, on the up and just a longer du duration on it and then i'm going to use shift uh, who always saves my ass uh, basically in the hard situations this is nothing special to say about it of course this build is just my theory max roll will show us its version of bow trap soon so probably i will go there to check this out you can already check the entire passive tree and skills on max roll and that's enough from me on the subject of Falconer. I like the whole idea of Bow Trapper so much that I will probably give up on Warlock and start playing Falconer at lunch. We can play version 1.0 of Last Epoch on February 21st this year, which I personally recommend, because in my opinion this will be the best hack and slash RPG game this year. There are three versions of the game, Standard, Deluxe and Ultimate. You can get them through the Last Epoch pre-order website, link is down below in video description, or directly through the Steam store. Of course, I've been playing for a long time, so if you already have some questions about the game, please let me know in the comments. Falconer out.